This is on the Quick Speed Shop. Check it out. Bam! I'm on the road. I'm at my friend Jordan's shop. We just cut out these letters. Check it out. It says Quick Stop. These are the letters that go on the top of my backyard gas station. Going to be putting up in the spring. We used the CNC plasma cutter to cut them out. It's awesome. If you want to see how we did it, pay attention. I'll show you how we did it right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Hey, bro. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? I came you ready over, to do some work? Yeah, I came over here to check out your uh, pla your uh, plasma cutter display action here. Yeah, so this is uh, Landmere Systems Crossfire. So this is a CNC plasma cutter. Yeah, yeah CNC, yep. Yeah. What are we going to be cutting on here today? We're going to be cutting some signage. 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 Quick stop. This is, uh, I believe this is for your gas station, right? Oh, my gas station letters. Perfect. Been waiting on those. Yeah. We, bo we both had a touch of the COVID look recently, but now we're back in business. This is Jordan. I'm Josh. We're over here at Jordan's Home Shop and uh, brought some blanks. They're going to cut out some letters from my gas station up top there on the backyard gas station. They're going to go up in the middle. It's going to say quick stop. And uh, we got some 16 gauge sheet metal blanks and cold rolled. Cold rolled steel. We're going to blast them out here on the what is this? It's a Langmuir Systems Crossfire. Langmuir Systems Crossfire, CNC plasma cutter. The computer runs the uh, plasma cutter. Let me bring it closer so we can see what's up. So this thing is a computer controlled plasma cutter. So like if you've seen a handheld plasma torch, it basically puts a CNC computer control on it. You got the, the power here is the 45 amp razor weld. Yeah. And that's got a CNC port right built right into it. Nice. Plug and play. So we got this little table here, it's got X and Y access on it, and then you got a laptop over here to run the show. Yeah, so this is the old computer. The, this is the uh, designing suite here. I use uh, AutoCAD Fusion, uh -huh. the quick stop individual letter setup. So because this is more of a home unit, it's smaller. I can't do all of it out of one blank. It also it would also be uh, quite a bit of waste. So we're doing them out of individual blanks. So I've got a program written for each letter. And that's uh, fire control, is what uh, the program is that actually controls the CNC machine. So, just open up a new program here, and we'll start with a queue. Let's start it, let's do it. So here's the queue for the program. I just need to do a couple of minutes to zero it in, and get it ready. And then each letter, uh, we'll just have to set home, and we'll probably set it up in the jig so it's a little bit easier to repeat and go faster. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> how big are the letters going to be? I forget. Uh, 12 and a quarter by just under 13. All right. So these these blanks are like 19 by 19 or something. So he's gonna he's gonna home out the uh, corner access and it's gonna and it's gonna start cutting it. Let me put you back on a stand here. We'll watch this thing fire off. Should be pretty exciting. Just I'm gonna miss the fixture in there. Miss the miss the fixture. So, I'm going to drive it up just a quarter of an inch. Yeah, looks good. That's good. And I've run to the extent of the program. We're in both axis. Looks like it'll fit. Yeah, looks like it'll fit just fine. Send it back home. And then that's ready to go. Let's do it. I'm gonna put on my uh, my dark shades here. What are these, number five? Yeah, it? those are number five. So it'll burn, burn my eyeballs out. All right, ready? Let's hit it and rip it.
So two things that aren't automated in this. I've got a Z axis that's by hand. Have to adjust that before and after. And I have some shims to set my height on that for the torch. All right. And the other uh, thing that isn't automatic is amperage. So what we'll do is we'll check the back side of the cut now to make sure that it looks pretty good. I know we did some test cutting before and I think we got it in, but typically do that sacrificial piece, but the amperage is, is an adjustment actually on the machine, the uh, plasma machine. Question. It's a Q. Could we make the ladder up to here? <laughs> or would it, would it be, would you <coughs> redraw the whole thing? I had to redraw the whole thing. I, yeah, but yeah, that, I, that was part of the question that I sent back here and say, you know, this is where it came. 12 by 12 square with the font type that we chose. Actually, it's not too bad. No, it's not. I don't like that that doesn't look as nice yeah, as you're gonna, you're gonna be seeing it from way far away. Let me hold it up for one second. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of waste in that blank. Oh, actually, that's way nicer. This is 12 by 12 mm -hmm. and yeah, so there's no way to just like drag the upper dimensions up to like 16. Uh, no, I'll redraw that, which I don't think it would take that long. All right, so we went and uh, Jordan went and he took the program and he made the letters taller, going to be 16 inches taller. We're going to recut the Q and take a look and see how I like that. But I think it's going to be uh, be good. The blanks are like 19 by 19, so we'll use up more of the blank. And uh, let's fire this thing up and we'll do it again. <laughs> Hit it, bro! Alright, you just remember that. Hit it! That quick redesign was brought to you by Dave Jr. Fabrication. Dave Jr. Fabrication! There. I can put the words in the video, Dave Jr. Fabrication. Oh, okay. we'll, get, we'll get all the goodness happening. Hit it! Let's see what happens. Uh oh. What the bigger that's, that's, that's the perfect calculated waste on the other side exactly what you like to see so we get look at that hold it up i don't see it let me take a pic oh yeah hold on look at me with your awesome freaking mullet hair <laughs> that's awesome yeah that looks a lot better wait hold on let me get the other one to hold it up we're still filming by the way oh so how's it look compared to the uh it's like a showcase. Vanna, give me a give me a cue, Vanna. Nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it being taller. That's 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 the ticket right there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. The square font just wasn't quite yeah. wasn't quite what you'd be looking for. Nice. Yeah. So uh so uh, post process cleanup, we got a little bit of dross on a on a piece of this. Um, you know, with the settings dialed in perfect, uh, the that dross will normally come off with your fingernail. A little bit less than perfect you can drop it on the ground and it'll pop off i typically hit it with a wire wheel um, i got a cup wheel set up on a grinder over there at the welding table uh -huh. i'll typically hit it with that and that'll take off some of the surface rust too and it gives you a nice a nice uh, surface for finish what i'll probably do 
take my flap wheel, can I use the flap wheel and hit it? Uh, you can. The the wire wheel, though, will get will knock this off rather than grind it down. Because it's actually, you know, it's pretty... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's just yeah. down there. It just, it just off. It bobs off, right, so fingernail popped off. Then and I'm, <clears throat> I'm probably going to put some 120 or 220 on my DA, and I'll DA this. Yep. And I'm going to have my, uh, my buddy, it's got a hot rod pinstriping business, he's going to paint these and pinstripe them, and then they'll be up in the building like... 3D, I might have them 3D it around or whatever. Yeah. That'll be another video later on. Yeah, it'll look good. That, that is awesome. Let's cut some more. All right. This thing looks awesome. Yeah, it came out real nice. I like it. So it's going to be stood off on the front of the gas station. It's going to be, uh, what do you call it? It's, I don't know, like stood off like like a few inches, and then it's going to be up top of the gas station. If you know up, up above the sign, and I got the two Goodyear signs on the other side, but it's going to these are probably going to be painted green, and I'm going to get them pinstriped to look like 3D, like some stripes around the edge of my other. Other buddy will do that later on in the winter time. But this thing came out awesome. Hey, you got to take measurements to see how long it is. Yeah. The letters are 16 inches tall. And this, this will tell me they're squished together right now pretty good. What do you got there? Yeah, I think once you stretch them out, eight feet's probably going to be your max. Eight feet. Or your minimum there. Now we're good. So yep. that looks good. Jordan did an awesome job. This is a little, this little home fab shop, Daydreaming Fabrications. I'll put the words in the video, like that. But uh, this came out awesome, dude. Blasted yeah, it right out. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with it too. It looks awesome. I love the S. I love the P. It looks old timey, and once it's painted up, it'll be freaking balls out. So, dude, this came out awesome. I can't wait to get it painted and get it mounted up there. Appreciate your expertise. Go give uh, Daydream Fabrication a follow on Instagram. I'll put the words in here. Jordan makes all kinds of cool stuff. Stuff's for sale. He's in business. You want neat stuff made? He's got the tools over there. He can make all kinds of cool stuff out, out of sheet metal. So give him a follow on the Instagrams. And uh, I'm going to load this stuff up and get back because it's cold out. It's getting late. Thanks for making it, bro. Bro shake. That's right. Yep. Oh, that's how we do it. Right there. Look at those. Bam. That's awesome. Bam. So we'll see you next time at the Quick Speed Shop.